USA Today is keeping track of the news surrounding COVID-19 as a pair of vaccines join the U.S. fight against a virus that has killed nearly 390,000 Americans since the first reported fatality in February. Keep refreshing this page for the latest updates surrounding the coronavirus, including who is getting the vaccines from Pfizer and Moderna, as well as other top news from across the USA Today network. Sign up for our Coronavirus Watch newsletter for updates directly to your inbox, join our Facebook group or scroll through our in-depth answers to reader questions for everything you need to know about the coronavirus. President-elect Joe Biden is scheduled to share more details Friday afternoon on his $1.9 trillion spending package that aims to speed distribution of the coronavirus vaccines and provide economic relief caused by the pandemic. The package proposal includes investing $20 billion in a national vaccination program, $1,400 stimulus checks and expanding unemployment insurance supplements to $400 per week. More here. Starting Friday, the United Kingdom is banning arrivals from South America following evidence of a new variant of the coronavirus in Brazil. The coronavirus pandemic is projected to lower Americans' life expectancy at birth by over a year, according to a study out of University of Southern California and Princeton University published Thursday. Life expectancy for Black and Latino populations is expected to reduce 30% to 40% more than white populations. Disneyland announced it would end its annual passports program on Thursday, at the same time offering refunds to 2020 pass holders after COVID-19 kept visitors locked out of the theme park for the majority of the year. Texas has distributed more than 1 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines, Governor Greg Abbott announced Thursday as the state ramps up mass vaccination efforts while hospitals grapple with record numbers of patients. A false rumor that extra vaccine doses were available had people lining the sidewalks and cars filling the roadways in New York City. And more than 100 people went to Bay Area sites, despite not qualifying for the vaccines, after an error with the vaccination portal in California, the San Francisco Chronicle reported. A study in Nevada released Wednesday says about one-third of the state's residents are unlikely to get vaccinated for the coronavirus. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention predicts the country will be hitting a grim milestone soon as it continues to record the most daily COVID-19 deaths than at any point during the pandemic. The agency's weekly ensemble forecast predicts that 16,200 to 29,600 new COVID-19 deaths will likely be reported in the week ending February 6, reaching up to 477,000 total deaths by this date. The ensemble forecast is made up of 39 different models from across the nation that's combined into an aggregate forecast to predict COVID-19 deaths over the next four weeks.